Okay, I saw this video, absolute joke. This is the worst real estate advice ever. The worst real estate investing advice ever. I, like, this guy has way more money than me, way more experience, right? He's got way more gray hairs than me. We call these guys the Q-tips, all the gray hair. And I'm not knocking that because I got some gray hairs myself. But I expect more from people like this to give better advice in real estate. And I've only been doing it for six years, but he is so wrong. I'm all for you buying a bu buying some real estate, um, uh, but when idiots on the internet say real estate is passive income, that means they've never owned any. Okay, first of all, that is stupid because the definition of passive income. So it's not saying there's no effort; it's saying minimal effort. So you're not an idiot for wanting to invest in real estate and not have it be your full-time job and still make some income. That is technically passive. That's what real estate is. Come on, Dave, Google, ChatGPT. Because there's nothing passive about dealing with renters and heat and, right. air, heat and air that goes out and roofs that leak. A roof that leaks, oh, it's not passive. Yeah, that's called real estate investing. Okay, so let me ask you this, Dave. Do you, do you write off depreciation on your taxes to lower your tax bill? Hmm. What do you think depreciation is for? It's for because the roofs go out. So you save money in your taxes, you make more money, you have that money to invest back in your property. It's a cost of doing business. That's how real estate works. It's still not that much. It's not that hard to literally call an HVAC person, get a couple quotes, send them over there, get the job done. It's pretty passive. It takes about five minutes, 10, 30 minutes max. Uh, there's nothing passive about managing real estate. Nothing whatsoever. You want passive, buy a mutual fund. They'll just put the check in your mailbox and you don't have to think anything about it. But real estate ain't passive. Um, it's very active. Uh, even if you're managing the managing company, they've still got to call you and approve the $8,400 new heating and air system that blew up. You have to manage the managing company? You have to take a couple phone calls? Oh, oh, that sucks. You got to take a couple phone calls. It's not 100% passive. Again, we've already talked about what the definition of passive is. Also, editor's note too as well. So passive income, right, in real estate. There is real estate that's way more passive than others. For example, I have residential and commercial. You know what you do in commercial? It's something called triple net, my friends, triple net, right? I have people who have warehouse investments, and guess what? They bought the building, and you know what the tenant's responsible for? All the leaks, the roof the exterior, the interior, everything, Tri full triple net, right? Go look up triple net. There's different variations of it, but that's way more passive than residential. So that's also under real estate investing. I just had to make that editor's note because I just caught that, um, which even proves his point way off and way more wrong. It's, it's, it's just, this is terrible advice. This is terrible. It's terrible. Even if you put your money into some kind of fund. Even if you invest your money anywhere, you still have to manage people managing it. You still have to keep an eye on your money. You're still doing some kind of work for your investment. Nothing is truly set it and forget it. And if you do put money somewhere, set it and forget it, you're basically hoping that that works out, right? Because you're not keeping an eye on it. Nothing is truly 100% passive, especially when it comes to your wealth and your money. You have to keep an eye on it, you have to manage it. It's just how it works. Or the other day I had a $26,000 one go out on one of our commercial buildings. Didn't feel- Oh, boo-hoo. Cost of doing business. That's real estate. Expect things to break and to fix them. Duh. But when I hear someone say passive income and real estate in the same sentence, it means they've been on get-rich-quick websites. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard somebody say. Because somebody says, real estate and passive income, they're on get rich quick websites? Shut up, Dave. Like, you're just wrong. I'm sorry, like, you're wrong. Real estate does this, right? Real estate does this. Tenants move out, you gotta put a little more work in it. Once you get the property stabilized, it's running. Sometimes, like, some of my properties, I haven't even been over there in months and I'm still collecting checks, I'm still getting cash flow, I'm still depreciating it, I'm still appreciating it. Pretty passive to me. Because they make it sound like, oh, well, the renters will just pay for it. Uh, nope, you're gonna pay for it. Maybe the renters pay you. Uh, that's how it works in the real world. So, you know, go buy you some real estate after you get your life started and pay cash for it 
after you get your home paid off and after you get your 401ks and other stuff started. That is dumb. That, that, that is dumb. That is bad advice. He just said, go buy some real estate as an investment. Once you pay off your home in 30 years with your mortgage, once you pay off your debts, once you get your career started and you invest in your 401ks. So hey, let's say you're starting out 20s or 30s. Go buy real estate when you're 50 and 60 after you pay everything off. That is foolish. But um, uh, this idea that you're going to build a portfolio of uh, heavily debt-ridden real estate and the renters are all going to make you rich is, is so freaking laughable that it makes my head spin. You know what is laughable? His advice. And here's my final summary on this terrible, terrible segment that he did. He's got some good other principles. I'm not going to knock it, but this segment is terrible because I have a video. I'll post a link below, my first real estate deal, right? You know when I bought that? When I was 27 years old. I was renting an apartment, right? I didn't have a house paid off. I didn't have all my debts paid off, right? I also bought it through seller financing, so I had debt. And guess what? The renters paid the mortgage. The renters paid for the past seven years since I bought it. They paid the mortgage, we've cash flowed it, and you know what? We actually just sold that. And you know what we made? Almost a half a million dollars of profit. You know what we put down cash on that deal six, seven years ago? $26,000 off of a land contract. I have previous videos how I did it, right? So that $26,000 turned into, guess what? $400,000 plus. Dollars. And that's only the money that we got sitting there because we're gonna go buy another deal. I'm not talking about all the cash flow that we made in the past seven years, right? Minimum. $2,000, we'll call it, right? With some vacancies and things that came up, $2,000. So about $24,000 per year, right? With the cash down, that's almost 100% cash on cash return. You ain't gonna get that in a mutual fund, Dave. Also, what I wanna say about that is over the course of seven years, that's an extra six figures that we made off that cash flow. So don't listen to every idiot on the internet as he's saying, right? He's saying, hey, don't go listen to idiots on there. Don't listen to me, right? Don't even listen to me. Do your own research, do what's best for your situation, right? And figure out a plan and just go do the plan. You don't need to call in to Dave and tell him how to figure out your life, okay? Go make your investments with your research with your gut feelings, with your intuition, it's that simple. I just wanna make a uh, reaction to this terrible advice and let you know, don't go in truly 100%, listen to this as the gospel because it is not, right? You can build a nice portfolio. You can leverage debt. You can get real estate before you pay off the house. You can do all these things, it's possible. I've done it, others have done it, do you? All right, I gotta end this, this rant because this is not productive anymore. Until the next video, goodbye my friends.